Okay, so this is the problem. Um, we will work with a reversing elbow. Um, so you can see, previously we solved the problem where we had the elbow with 30 degree angles, and now this one, this is a deflector elbow. Like it is now, it, it replaced the reversing elbow, and it makes a 180 degree angles kind of U turn here. So this is the inlet. This is the outlet. The flow is going this way and the dis it's discharging uh, through this outlet here so all other conditions kind of same this is the coordinate system we have the resultant force along x-axis here this is the z-axis now uh, the elevation differences uh, through the center line from here to here so that means this elevation differences it is um, still same like the previous problem so it's not changed we need to determine the anchoring force needed to hold this elbow in place. So, in this case, we will um, see, like you, you can you can see here, it is just the extension of the previous problem, but uh, we just changed the angle previously to 30 degree and now it's 180. So the inlet outlet velocity and the pressure at the inlet and of the elbow remains same. But the vertical component of this um, anchoring force, uh, the connection of the elbow of the pipe is zero in this case. So F R Z is zero here, so, because no external force, no momentum flux um, are working actually along the vertical directions, like this Z axis. So what we said is, um, the 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 F R Z, that's the the anchoring force, the connection of the elbow, this is zero because no, no vertical force acting here. The horizontal component we need to determine um, along the x-axis. So this is uh, the horizontal component we actually will calculate. So we know uh, from previous problem, the previous problem was like this, it was an angle 30 degree so due to that angle we had the vertical component and the horizontal components but here it is kind of 180 degree angle so that means you can say there is no kind of uh, the change that of the deflection but it's kind of reversing elbow so what we can write down um, from the momentum equations it is uh, f summation of f it is equal to the sum of the force out m beta m v minus for inlet it is beta m v dot that's the formula we know so here the, as usual this the force the horizontal force acting is the f r x plus the gas pressure okay p on gas into the area a1 it will be equal to you know the outlet the velocity we can say beta for outlet Inlet is point on, outlet is point two. Let's say beta two, m dot, and v two. Here, this is the positive axis. This is the positive x axis. This is the negative x axis. B, the velocity at the outlet, it is actually going opposite directions. This is if it is positive x axis, you see it's going to the negative direction. So we can say this is negative v two. You understand what I mean? So this is negative V2. Now minus for this inlet, it is beta 1 M V1. Okay, so that's actually the expressions, the momentum equations for along x-axis. Now um, we're looking for FRX. We can similarly as it is the same problem, we can say beta to beta 1 it is equal to beta. Okay. So if we simplify this and if we write it down, so this expressions, the equation, it will be FRX equal um, negative beta M dot V2 plus V1 minus the P1, the gas pressure into the area A1, right. Now beta equal 1.03 like the previous problem. So if you, uh, not clear, just go to the previous problem. That means the question is still the lecture problem. M is 14 kg per second. 
okay v2 is 20 v1 is 1.24 this is a meter per second okay yep and uh, the we can convert this like one newton over one kg meter per second described minus the gas pressure it is 202 200 newton per meter square and the area is 0 0.011 3 meter square so the first part if we solve it uh, it will be you know negative 306 the second part is 2285 so we have got it is 2591 newton so that means this is the horizontal force negative 2591 that is actually um, acting in the negative extractions that means uh, it's, you can see it's negative extraction that means it's trying to separate the pipe so that's the problem um, yeah but we, we may modify this sort of questions in final exam like um, it was now the elbow like this and you can see let's say it becomes the narrow width without just reversing the angles so if we say this is point one and this is point two then we may tell you okay calculate the you know the resultant force acting here so instead of the change of this angle um, it could be the cases so here what we did we already know we explained this how we got these expressions so this is actually the uh, you know the momentum equations for steady flow processes so we use these uh, equations and we got it for you know the inlet and the outlets and then we simplified uh, and we substitute all the values once we substitute substitute all the values then we got the value is negative this that means it's acting along the negative x x x directions so that's it and yeah we'll discuss it during the